two people have asked you to review their work and you see one has perfect structure, appropriate arcs, syntax, grammar, etc. And the other one is more rough around the edges, but it displays characters that are so real that the reader does not really care. First of all, I would love to have those two clients as a consultant because I could work with either one of them and, and sort of figure out, well, how can I help you pull up the other side that you're struggling with? It's very hard and I couldn't say with any degree of accuracy, this one will succeed and this one will fail because there are two such critical elements. Um, on the one hand, I think the person who's mastered the craft, and in your words, has perfect structure, and assuming that they're structuring a really commercial idea, they're in a certain way probably further along, because then we just have to go deeper with those characters and start really getting into what is this identity essence tug of war, what is the wound, what is the fear, what is the persona that they've created and how does it relate to the goal. So the script is going to read better in that case. But there are some writers who just don't get that. They just don't really have an interest or a desire or they don't connect with this idea of inner fear and going into the layers of the character and so on. But there are a lot of successful movies that don't have an inner journey at all. Those are, because your goal is to elicit emotion. And if the an emotion grows out of conflict, is the conflict is so great on the visible level you may not need the invisible inner journey level. So I don't see much character arc in any James Bond movie and they've done pretty well over the last 50 years, 50 plus years now, or uh, Raiders of the Lost Ark. I don't see much of an arc for that character or any number of other big fireworks, special effects, space battle, whatever it might be. Some of them have an arc for the character, some of them do not. Some of them try to, but it's, it's kind of just lesser, a lesser element. But the movies could be great because they're exciting and they're adventuresome and, and the characters are fun to watch. They just don't have these deeper layers, so that's fine. For the other writer, the one who really has a desire and an understanding of human nature, they have a real advantage at creating rich three-dimensional characters, but they have a lot of craft still to learn if they're nowhere near the first writer you mentioned. So in both cases, the writers need have work to do, but the one who understands human nature but doesn't know craft yet probably has more work. More work, okay. Great, thank you. And if they do the work, they may end up being the best screenwriters. Because they're able because to Because then they'd be fully, fully cognizant of all of it. Do you find the ones that maybe don't, let's, let's take the first one who's, who's no structure, perfect you know, structure, and, and um, that possibly there's something in themselves that they're not addressing, and so they're not able to have their characters go deeper, or is that looking to far into it. Whereas the one that maybe does not know some of the structural points um, but, but is able to really create a rich character is more in touch with themselves, their emotions, their own identity. Okay, the second character you just described, the one who understands character depth, I have no idea if they're more in touch with their own emotions. They just understand psychology. They understand the layers of, of courage and fear and so on. Whether they can apply it to themselves or not, I have no idea because lots of us can be good at recognizing things in other people and are blind to what's going on in ourselves. But I will say this, for the, for the person who struggles with that, part of the struggle might be that they don't want to look at the connection between themselves and what's going on in their story. When I coach people, one of the questions I often say if I'm not getting a clear picture of the characters or if I'm not really understanding them is I'll say to the writer, where are you in this story? And I'll say, I don't mean which character are you. I mean, how does this story reflect something that is important to you? How does it reflect reflect something that you're afraid of, that you're resisting, or that has been important to you in the past or whatever. And that's a journey that's hard to take 
That's an exploration that's hard to do. If they're willing to do it, we can start seeing that. Or sometimes, and I'm presumptuous enough of a guy that I'll mention it, but sometimes in looking at a story and working with someone, I can recognize things about them in the story that I've recognized in their work or in working with them that they haven't discovered. And I'll just point it out. I say, I will say, you know, do you see how this is the character who's really much more like you? Do you see how this character is really struggling with what you are? Or I will say, have you ever been in a situation like this? What was your response? then why isn't your character responding something like that? So there are ways to get deeper and go into that level of understanding through the psychology of the writer herself or himself, but not all writers are gonna be up for doing that. I have to get their permission to really want to explore that. If they are, then it can lead to some really good things in the script.